is this cast an unwell ride, Regalo Mia in the Appalachian. Uh, you were on her last time in the stake down at Gulfstream. Tell me about that race. Yeah, you know, that um, she ran a heck of a good race. You know, she, the race that she ran against uh, the day of the spa, um, I had a good trip, saved all the ground. When I asked her to pick it up, she picked it up, but, you know, that one that beat me, you know, she, she got away from me a little too early. Uh, do you optimistic about your chances of trying to turn the tables on her tomorrow? Hopefully, you know, it seems like it will, we, we are in the same spot, and then I think we, we can do it. You uh, rode her in her, her victory, first start out this year. Um, tell me about uh, about that race and, and what's impressed you about the way that she's run this year, the times you've well, been actually, on her. Well, actually, I feel like, you know, the longer she goes, the better she, 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 she does. Um, when I first rode her, going, going longer, um, basically she kind of, you think you don't got much left down the lane, but she always gives you an extra kick. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Shackelford. Uh, kind of, it, it looked like in the in the Carter, he kind of fell into the lead when uh, the the other horse broke poorly. Uh, MC, I think. Uh, tell me about about that race for him. Uh, big improvement, obviously, over his one in Florida. Yeah, I mean Shackelford, he 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 came back uh, awful strong to the Carter. Um, I mean he, you know, he made it. He made the lead easy, like he also like like he always does. Um, when the, when Jackson Bent came to me, my horse. You know, he, he went with him too, and uh, he didn't give up until, you know, the distance got me. Uh, does he feel uh, any different to you from last year when you were on him? That's yeah, he's stronger. He's a little stronger horse, and uh, he's, he made sure a lot. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to for the next race. I know he's, going, he's he already came back to himself. Uh, are they going to run him Derby Week down at Churchill? Did I see that? Uh, that I don't know, sir. Um, what did it mean to you and to your career to win a race like the Preakness with him? Well, when uh, when a race like that, it was emotionally emotional race, and uh, um, it's like everybody else always wanted to win a big race like that, and it just was a big experience. Uh, it, competitions in tight, uh, tough here in the jockey colony at Keeneland. So many great riders, guys who have won big races like yourself. Um, is it pretty friendly in the in the jocks room though? Oh yeah, we all get along pretty nice uh, in the jocks room here, and uh, and also in New York. Um, I mean, I know I'm jo I'm. I'm I enjoy it riding against these people. They're they're pretty pretty consistent riders. Uh, what did it uh, mean to your career to win a race like the Preakness? It means a lot, though. It means a lot, and uh, you know sometimes you you know you hoping to kind of open up some doors, and which you did. You know, I mean, I have been lucky. I, you know, lately after I won the Preakness, and and Chaco for has taken me. <laughs> um, to uh, you know uh, good places. Bill, you have a pretty special relationship with him. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about his personality, and, and if there's been any changes in that from last year to, as to now as a four-year-old. Oh, well, he's a little more calm. He's a little more calm, more little more relaxed. Uh, as you see in the post, but he doesn't get like he used to be back in last year. But he's a little more patient. You uh, follow any other sports? Uh, anything you, you distract? I, I like golf. Do you play it's much? Open. A little bit when I can. Yeah. Um, got a favorite course that you play around here? Uh, no, no, I'm just. I'm happy wherever I'm at. <laughs> Break 100, it's a good day? Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Thank you.